There are many ways to preserve meat without having a refrigerator. In this video, I'm going to show you how I preserve my meat with lard. Initially, I wanted to try to preserve my meat uh, using the canning method. Not every stove are suitable for using pressure cooker, especially the induction stove. And I also read about canning, you know, if you don't know how to do it correctly, you, you could end up uh, food poisoning. So let's hop into my kitchen and I'll show you how to do that. Do you know that you can make your own lard? If you have plenty of fat in the meat that you bought, you too can make lard at home. It's pretty easy to make them. So these are the meat that I have packed uh, half a kilo per bag and I have some leftover fat. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually very simple. All you need is a hot pan. Put all the fat in and fry them until the size of the meat or fat reduce. The heat should be medium high because uh, you want to successfully cook them quickly and soon like 10 minutes you should be able to see lard floating around the meat. And once the fat turned golden brown like this, it is time for you to remove them and uh, seal or filter out the lard. This method can be used on any kind of animal fat skin fat like chicken, ducks, goose or pork, even fat parts of beef and any kind of red meat. Now, gently remove the meat because the oil can be really hot. Set the lard aside to cool down if you're not going to use them immediately. Now, let's make the pork preserve in lard fat. In a small bowl, mix salt and pepper. This is used to curd the meat. By curding the meat, you actually also kill the bacteria and also make the meat more flavorful. After I realized that I shouldn't be using a plastic bag, it is more ideally to use a big bowl like a glass bowl or ceramic bowls to do this process. Since this is the remaining of the mutton that I try to freeze, so I just show you guys how I do it in a lazy way. So now the meat is ready for refrigeration. Keep them in the fridge for two days. After two days, let's prepare the lard. This is the lard that I bought at the supermarket. It's actually quite cheap, around 20 crown for half a kilo like this. So put them in a saucepan and melt them in medium heat. Remember the mutton lard that I made just two days ago? So I'm going to melt them because I'll be using that later. So I have transferred the mutton meat um, into a ceramic bowl eventually and also I bought about three kilo of uh, pork. This is actually curry uh, that contains a little bit of fat so now this has been cut, I'm going to just uh, season it further with a little bit of bay leaf. Next, pour the lard over the meat. And I like to soak them for a further one hour before I put them into the oven. Make sure the meat are completely immersed in the oil. You could also use a pot. I think that way is easier. You will get more stock if you cover the meat with uh, aluminum foil. If you don't like the stock, you can leave it open and bake them in the oven. Set the temperature to 180 degrees and bake them for 2 to 3 hours. Meantime, sterilize the lid of your jar. Sterilize for at least 15 minutes and pat dry them. After two and a half hours, my meats are ready. I like the flavors of the stock. I find that by immerging the meat with the stock, the meat will be more flavors than just oil. And also because I have plenty of space in my fridge, so I have no problem keeping them in the fridge instead of in the cellar. 
I usually like to sterilize the jar uh, just before I put in the meat. I find that using the oven is more convenient. If you don't have an oven, you can use boiling water. I then realized that the meat sizes are too big. It will not fit my jar, so I cut them into smaller pieces. To prevent air bubbles in the jar, I put the oil first, followed by the meat. I like to cover the jar with one third of the oil and the stalks, and slowly use a tongue to place the meat, making sure that there is no air bubbles traps in between. Make sure you have at least one inches of space from the lid so that you could cover the meat with more lard. Use a spatula to remove any possible air bubble trap between. This method can be used for any kind of meat, even vegetables and fruits. I eat this like a conserved meat that you can buy from the can. Since the meat has already been seasoned, it's ready to eat right from the jar. All you need is to submerge the jar in a hot water until the lard melted so that it is easier for you to remove the meat pieces. Make sure that the fat are completely submerged in the lard. And this is how it looks like after one hour. I hope you like this video. If you do, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I hope to see you in my next. Bye bye.